All right, let's get in, see what we're looking at here. Midweek Magic, Historic Popper. It is a 60 card deck, but it's nothing but commons and basic lands. I can't even use non-basic lands. Wow. Do I have a deck? No. We are building from the ground up. Really, I feel like there's only one way to go here. Oh, come on. here two mana I, I might be uh, in a little bit of a problem here. Unfortunately, the deck that I want to build doesn't seem like it is legal for the format. Interesting. Red, two mana, collected, not collected. I'm pretty sure that's where it's supposed to be. But these multicolors at the back end are interesting. I 
pass the Mimica artifacts. Great. Some basic lands. Interesting. Let's just look at the new modern stuff. The Lord of the Rings. Uh, the Modern Horizons 3. It's not where we're only going to build from, but it is where I would like to start building. Historic Popper. Like, I don't even know where to start. Hello, how's it going? Why are you not doing the thing?
and I'm pretty sure it's selected guys you got everything else working sorry you're you chatting at me just made me realize that one of my chat boxes isn't working Yeah, I've been missing people chatting at me because my, my chat box wasn't working. Well, all right, we got that fixed. Now I can see you guys chatting at me. Did white enchantments and one unreasonable percentage? Not a popper player. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking. Some alchemy commons and just commons from good sets might be able to build something semi-fun and somewhat original again I'm not sure what I want to build <laughs> yeah that's the thing I don't know what kind of deck I'm going for I was originally thinking of doing like mono red cavalcade but the cavalcade wasn't showing up so Now I'm looking at energy sources, and the ring tempts me, and I don't know which one of those I want to go with, but I'm going to look at both of them real quick. Ooh, the Eldrazi might be fun, too. It's historic, but it's only popper, so we're only going to be able to use commons. Commons and basic lands. Yeah, this this isn't the the artisan or whatever. Artisan's a little more forgiving. Just a little more forgiving. You know, but I fear some of this, like it was good for limited in the set that it was in, but playing it in popper, I have no idea. Right? Historic popper. Hmm. I mean, I could net deck. I could just go rip a deck and, and play it. You know, I'm sure I'll find something that I like that way. I just thought I would have a little bit of an idea of something to do and maybe try something different from everyone else but right a ginger brute something do no do I still have something checked that I shouldn't
Really? All that glitters is uncommon? Um... So... Sword. Well, the one I want is also uncommon. Man, all the cards I'm thinking of are uncommon cards. It's banned in Popper. Right. It's too strong for Popper. Two common enchantments, the buff for each creature in play. What one of them is the rain, right? Michigo's reign of truth or whatever. Yeah, like six months ago. All right, all right. We're we're gonna we're gonna bring up the good old Google. That's a good list. Where is the arena export? There we go. So if we do that. Discard the changes. We don't need that. We can click import. And then we can look at the midweek magic. Oh, why did my imported deck not work? Imported deck. Just change it. <laughs> Craft all. So Ancestral's Mask does the thing. What else is the pumper here? Oh, Ethereal Armor. Got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yours, I'm sure yours was similar to this. Like I said, just a quick Google search usually puts it in place. These decks usually do good. I don't know that it's the one that I want to play, though, you know? Like, just, just because it's a good deck, that doesn't just instantly qualify it for what I want to play, like... We could do the mono red. There's blue ninjas. Rakdos madness. That sounds more like me. Ooh, mono green stompy, really. Some burn stuff. Want to win and have fun? No, I want to have fun more than I want to win. I can accept some of the losses while I'm learning the deck. That's that's not even the issue. I, I would rather have fun playing the deck than just winning through the event. 
Although we are on a time crunch today. So it, it might be just winning the event quickly so we could get to the draft. No, because like you don't want to hit three colors really in this format. Two is kind of pushing it. Like you don't really have mana fixing. So it gets a little hard to get into a bunch of different colors. Well, they had four non-enchantments, so they got bid quick, yeah. I think we're going to take a look at one other deck. Uh, yeah, save and exit. That's fine. Oh, decks. Import. Yep, deck two. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. The other deck that looks super interesting to play for this event. something like this it is mostly relying on the killing fiend here and a little bit on the prowess creatures but i do tend to enjoy something like this yeah the pride mage just ever growing the quick pumps for damage and then trying to get just the one turn kill Something like that might be interesting to play and mess around with. Yeah, so it's a killing fiend deck. I, I think that's the, the, the route I'm going to go, is this guy. And if this doesn't work out, then we will switch to the Selesnya enchantments, because the enchantments is a solid deck. We'll get the beatdown in there for sure. No, that's that's the deck I want like to register. Submit deck. There we go. Like I haven't played this before. <laughs> it is Grixis control with no black and no removal. I just mute you? No, I just have you down really low. Don't concede. Don't do that. It was mono red though, not is it? Interesting. Alright, well. I'm, I'm willing to see what I'm up against, and if I see a deck that I enjoy a little more, maybe we'll switch to that. But for now... I think we wait. And turn down the computer volume. Ah, that's, that's where I'm missing it. Yes, okay. Another one. Is 
this Rakdos Sacrifice? I'm about to get wrecked by Rakdos Sacrifice. You could still hear me over the game, right? I didn't turn it up that much. All right, my guy, what you got for me? I was a little distracted. That was my bad. Lose two life and you create two blood. Yeah, that's fine. Just a Rakdos burn deck. No, you can't kill my creature. That's the one thing you can't kill. Thank you. Oh, it's a sorcery. That was my bad. I forget this is sorcery, not instant speed. Misplay. Misplay. Yeah, you guys could hear the game, but I couldn't. Now, if I turned it up too loud on accident, you let me know. Then scry. Can you do it again? Yeah, that's a lot of damage. And like that, we're back in it. Back in it. Come on, no land. All gas. It's a good start. That is a good start. Plus two first strike. Create a treasure. I think I want something that says draw a card on it more, but this will have to do. Yeah, 
it's the first one. We'll have to see what happens. But yeah, it definitely has a lot of lands. First to the first run of the deck, you know. Easy eight land cut. No, no. Oh, we would. We would. Well, now we're in a little bit of a predicament. I think they have this one uh, in the bag. All right. Rakdos Madness. Nice. You always love when there's good roleplay moments. What was that? Man, you get them so fast, I don't even see what they say. Ah, viewer bot, gotcha. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm a robot. Can we build a god robot? Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, that, that can't live. I know what that does. Man, I, I could really use a body. Like anybody. Skeptical of resurrections after pet cemetery. Yeah, that that'll do that to you just a little bit. 
I hope it works out for you guys. Hey. We're getting there. <laughs> well, honestly, if I'm going to put in some one drop anythings, it's going to be the Swift Sphere. Swifty is, is common. He would fit right into this stack. Get a body. But they can remove it. Leave my curve alone. So you're going to be the god that you want to build? What is that? Teach by example. Oh no, I tapped out. We're going to die. Yeah, I got a feeling the lists I'm looking at are a little outdated. any plays except for another serpentine curve. You killed the first one. That's game. We are so dead. Because as soon as I... Yeah, I see you highlighting the monkey. I block, you do the monkey thing, our creatures are gone. You win, you win. I, don't, I, I get it. My deck is not where it should be. I'm seeing that. That's what I get for copying somebody else's deck instead of building my own. Dive down, up, uh, spell pierce. Like, why, why are we even using unsummon, right? Like, all right, so we need to go for hope. What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? I do all of the cards that I want to use have to be uncommon. <laughs> There's that's okay, cool. So everything I want to use and abuse is uncommon. That's popper, like the whole point. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
What? How was Swifty not in here? Was it was banned also? Swift Spear was banned, right? A Swift Spear was banned. <laughs> All the cards I want to play are either uncommon or banned. <laughs> I thought I had a brainwave of something that I was going to do to the stack when I was looking for Swift Spear, but finding out that I'm just bad and my deck is bad shut my brain off for a second. I thought I couldn't use these lands. Why are they showing up? Why does this deck have I was, I thought I could only use basics. See, I'm already cheating. I have non basics in the deck. Yeah, I know they're common. Get what it was now. We're already down to 21 lands. I can't imagine me cutting more. This thing is too expensive, though. Yeah, I don't have any one-drop creature. I do need a good one-drop in here. Bring a 60-card historic that deck that contains only commons and basic lands. That's, that's literally the sentence. Contains only commons and basic lands. Those lands are not basic lands and therefore does not meet that sentence requirement. But I'm illiterate and don't know how to read. <laughs> sure. Sure. Man, this is annoyingly difficult. have a creature but we don't get to play it till turn three <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for it we'll see if we can make it happen I would get a tap land I mean, it's either that or non-basic commons just count as the common cards. But why would you include the basic land bit, you know? 
that, that I think that's what throws me. Like, it, it specifically says only basic lands. So, no non-basics? Cool. I'm alright with that. But then I get non-basics in my, my deck and it's legal. Can't do it this turn, but we can do it next turn. And fight. Yeah, but why make the distinction for basic lands? Every basic land is a common. You don't need to make the distinction about basic lands. You just say you put commons in your deck. Hey, I was gonna do that. I had the snakeskin veil. I'm so bad. That's the game. <laughs> I needed the snakeskin veil there. Right, yeah, yeah, no, the one drops. Again, I'm, I'm playing with outdated Aura decks, you know, just Google whatever, top deck, clicked it. It's probably wasn't updated until like March of this year or whatever. You know, it's six or seven months out and there's new cards I could add in, a couple of good one drops. I'm, I'm playing like garbage, I know it. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, Veil would have would have done the trick. Draw a card. No, it's not the right cartouche. Never mind. Don't draw a card. This is just try the 1-1 one, one Hexproof token so that I have something to do. God, all tilted over now. I'm, no, I'm tilted over the inclusion of the word basic lands in the description of the format. There's no reason for it to be in there. You can use only common cards. Oh, cool, I'm, I'm going to use common basic lands in my deck. But when you say I can only use basic lands, that makes me think I can't use non-basics. And yet, here I am using non-basics. It's a little misleading on the wording, that's all. <laughs> oh, no, stop it. Oh, that's funny. It gets plus two, plus two for each enchantment, and then they put an enchantment that gives minus two, minus two, so it did nothing. <laughs> the mask cancels out the the dead weight. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. Hey, we won one finally. <laughs> won some gems. That's great. Hey, I did the same thing. I didn't play my snakeskin veil and went, well, that's game. I messed up.
So do you think this is Denyu themselves or Denyu's friend who's calling his friend a nerd? Man, this looks really good if any one of you was actually a creature. Easy keep. <laughs> nah, I got a feeling this is going to be a problem hand. Woo! Yeah, that doesn't help us any. We needed a white source. Kill my bird. Oh, you can't kill my bird. Nice. No. I thought about it for a second. I really did. Really like another white source, that's what I want. Get that damage in. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's Denu themselves saying, hey, I'm a nerd and I'm here and I don't care. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay. I see it. I see the burn. Feel the burn. I didn't, oops, you did. I don't want to play it, but I want to play it because it says draws a card. Ah, oh, this is stupid. Uh, please don't be able to kill my bird. you impulse and leave up double blue as soon as we draw a land though this is this is game we just ancestral mask the big bird and it's over <laughs> I 
you're just gonna keep pinging me for the ones and twos, my guy, I don't think it's gonna work. I have too much life gain. <laughs> Three mana removal? Holy crap. I mean, the deck is probably what I would have ended up building if we would have continued down the path we were going, but... No! Reason to block. You're either gonna burn the bird or you're not. We really got hosed because we just have one white source of mana. That's that's what this is. One white source of mana. It would have been even more impressive because if one of these was a white source, we would have won already. We would have been able to double spell in a single turn and win, but because we haven't been able to play two spells, because we don't have two white sources, we can't we can't win. We can't get to where we need to win. But a single turn of double spells, we would have had it. Yeah, again, if I could double spell here and cast more than one spell.
That's some good cards you're using for sure. take that much damage just yet. I don't... I don't want it! I want a double spell turn, come on! We had this game. This was ours. <laughs> and I missed a planes drop. That's it. That's that's what's going to make me That's so frustrating. <sighs> Kill all my one ones. All right. Come on, Dak. Yeah, what am I going to draw? I'm going to draw either a dead card or I'm going to draw the planes that I was wanting to double spell and still only basically single spell. Like... No, we need two, two white sources of mana. Stop with the green. I don't want the green. The green is bad. Stop it. See, double spell in a single turn is just so strong when you actually get to do it. <laughs> One spell a turn, though, you're dead. I would have gotten flying on the little hexproof guy. I would have had a 1 1 flying hexproof and maybe been able to put a 1 1 something down. They would have board wiped to kill the one creature anyway and swung out with everything. Like, we were in a losing situation in that point. Like, I, I understand the extra card draw, but even drawing the planes that I want would not have achieved any extra board state. And that would have been the optimal play is to tap out, to draw a single land to maybe play the same spell that I played anyway, and it wouldn't have made a difference, right? Because if I would have drawn, I would have had a 1-1 flying hexproof, I would have drawn the planes, I would have played the planes, I would have played the bird. So I would have had a 1-1 flying lifelink, a 1-1 flying hexproof, and a 1-2 flyer, and they would have board wiped, and it would have just been done. So, like I get normally drawing a card is what you want to do in that situation, but we were just too far behind on the back foot with the terrors and stuff. It, it, it didn't matter with the card draw. It was the game was already lost. Even with the perfect draw, the play was basically the same. But why? <laughs> Deal with that.
I I could have made a, a single 4-4, yes, and had two creatures on the board instead of three. <laughs> like, facing down all that I was facing, a chump blocker is better than any size creature I could have made. I could have made any of my creatures into a million million and it wouldn't have mattered. Now you got chump blockers. Now you got chump blockers. Potentially chump block, survive, maybe, and if you're lucky, you can double spell the thing that you were bitching about the whole game and win. <laughs> like, it's a tall order, man. I get it. Like, there there might have been the 0.5% chance of me winning the game had I played it differently. But the 99.5% chance that I was dying no matter what I did. You would have drawn a forest, right? That's that that would have been the the game going. You know, oh, draw a forest. Good, good game. Um, tch, 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 tch. One, two, three, four, five blockers. Yeah, we just Leroy this. We win. Come on, Leroy. What do you have? What activated ability do you have? You can lonely sandbar? No. You can you can make your guy unblockable. Okay. Leroy. That's one, two, three, four damage that gets through. We don't even have to cast the spell. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I know I've pulled off shit like that before, but... Even the most optimal play would have been drawing a planes and playing like nothing, basically, you know? So there's just to some points you go, no, that's it. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> you win. <laughs> that is, like, nothing I can do. <laughs> like I said, I feel like if we had gotten a single extra white source of mana... Whether it been a tapped dual land or even a plains, we would have been all right. But it is in a free format for the week with nothing but commons. Like, it's not high stakes. I'm not really concerned about winning. I'm more wanting to play, like, decent games. And being robbed in my mana base, that has non-common lands in it. Really?
it's not non non combat it's just non basic yeah it's just <laughs> again the wording Like, I get it if it's like, oh, you can only build a deck using, you know, rare and mythic cards or whatever, and basic lands. Like, oh, okay, then all of the rare and mythic lands are included, and so are basics. But when it's all commons, like, basics fall into that category. Oh, two white sources, and then next turn we're going to double spell onto the Hexproof creature. It's, it's amazing when you get the pieces that you want for the deck that it runs better. Really? You're gonna make me discard again? Maybe we won't double spell next turn. Alright, your enchantments are buffing me. Your enchantments did that, not mine. I gotta discard two cards now? Fuck. the oops was but it wasn't for me say oops for yourself not for me that's actually pretty cool it's not the card itself just the card style but still <laughs> sure, alright. Blame the new players. Leave my bird alone. Don't you do it. Is that a sliver? Is that Naya? <laughs> Are you gonna do five color slivers? How? Leave my shit alone! <laughs> Not worth it.
No, I'm pretty sure that the basics have their own slot. There is a dedicated land slot, and it's usually basic or the non-basic land that they put in there. Oh! Okay, everybody died. A lot of first striking slivers I'm dealing with. Yeah, he's talking about real life packs. There's always been a land slot. Well, I shouldn't say there's always been a land slot, but there's been a dedicated land slot for a while now. And then every once in a while you get your. Uh, you're like one of these lands will take that basic land spot instead for drafting. Alright, you have to kill my bird or I win. Yeah, only if the, the non-basic land is rare will it take your... Uh, take your rare spot. That's what it is. Just a lot of the good lands that people are looking for are rare, and so it takes the rare spot and not the basic land. Yeah, they're down to 14 cards in a pack, but you also have like four chances at getting your uh, rares now. Like you can end up with up to four or five rares in a single pack. Which, again, is even bad for drafting because you open up and you've got four rares and you can only pick one, which means the next three people that you're passing to potentially get two rares in their you know, first pack or whatever. They, they definitely messed with things quite a bit. I need to claim that. I did claim that. All right. We did the thing. I got a couple hours still. Um, we can either do a Bloomborough draft and torment ourselves, or I've got Almond Cat Remastered and Artifacts. I don't know what this one is, but it sounds like it's nothing but Artifacts. Thanks, we did the thing. I knew it was going to be an annoying 
format, but constantly going, oh, we could use this card. Nope, it was banned. Oh, we could use this card. No, nah, it was uncommon. Like, that was, that was rough. I could play this card. No, you can't. Oh, but I, I could maybe play this card. What the... I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. Why does it make the gulping noise? We could try the artifacts, that's fine. Ooh, winter. What an emo. Yeah, this thing unsettles me a little bit. I can't believe that's the pet. I don't know if I love it or I hate it. Limited format, pulling from all sets on Arena. Artifacts. Alright, I, I think we're going to do the Artifact one just to give it a go, see what it's like. Um, but we are going to take a quick break before we do so. So, now that we know what we're in for... Uh, We'll see everybody back here in a minute.
Yes, I did see that the Magic the Gathering Netflix series was canceled. I know it had been delayed for a little bit there, but it being canceled, I, I don't think it's going to be a bad thing, you know? So many things flop when they're converted from one format to another like that. Like, the Borderlands movie just flopped. Like, it's going to be hard to do that. But we do this this artifact draft. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, I think a lot of people did, so, like, oh, it's not coming out now, it's just cancelled? Like, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it's like a bad movie date night you know mystery science theater 3000 just you watch it to make fun of it i showed the best parts i bet it's it's just a weird cast to me for like the potential people they have and i'm not quite sure where the story takes place like i feel like it's between the prequel and the first game oh uh, that'll assist that thing is going to be amazing in this. What a good pack one pick one. Trail of Crumbs is good. Artifact lands in the land slot. This is going to be a wild, wild draft, isn't it? I know Nettle Cyst is definitely pack one pick one though. That's probably one of the best cards in the format. Yeah, dude, I'm sure it'd be fun. Minus one. Hard evidence is good. The modular guys. Man. I don't know what I want. I want that. Affinity for artifacts. Yes, please. I bet stars are really good. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for removal. <coughs> I see why that was passed. Target non-legendary creature. Removal's good. Pick up some removal here. Still doesn't really set us into anything. We're just colorless so far. Possibly black. Possibly black. Uh, food is pretty good. Every attack. Fabricate is meh. Whenever a creature and opponent control dies, put a woman in. Sacrifice a creature gains indestructible. Yeah, I don't know. Proliferate can't be blocked by artifact creatures. Although a lot of the creatures I'm seeing make artifacts and are in fact not artifact creatures themselves. 
These two together in the food deck, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking the savvy hunter. Let's see if that actually pans out for us. Right, like it doesn't have the same cast. It has some of the same with like Roland, but like Krieg is in there, Tiny Tina is in there. Which is a little little different. Artifact Oh yeah, Emergency Weld was such a good card. Although the color fixing land for us would be great. Cut black. There's tap, two colors, draw a card, make a map token. Does the fight? That's more removal. Obliterating bolts, removal. Yeah, we're gonna go. I think green black food is what it looks like. We'll see if I'm in a, a correct archetype and things pan out. But we, we've got some good payoffs for sure. Uh, and a decent enabler. For each artifact you control, create a treasure. I remember these guys being pretty decent if you could get going on it. Fight or weld? Man. I think I take the weld. I'm gonna cut black. Four four trampler make a food. Five five improvise. I think I'm gonna grab the food maker. Another affinity for artifacts. Three cost mana dork, no. I want the affinity for artifacts. The enforcers are so good. I don't know how I got one so late. Mana fixing, mana ramp. <laughs> the witch came back. Get out of here, pirate hat. Nobody wants you. Sorry, Tamio's journal. Freebooter. Ooh, no, Annihilating Glare. I want the removal. Why do I feel like I'm going to hate that if I let it go? Man, those two seem really good. Rebooter my wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna take the removal. Spider foods removal. It's mana ramp. There's another emergency weld. Apparently, uh, I'm the only person who likes that card. A bobble. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of with you. I think I should take the bobble. I'd hope that the spider food comes back. And the art for this one is so good, too. 
And there's a land for our mana fixing, although we got baked into a pie. Removal and makes a food. Hopefully the bridge will come back. Tezzeret, the boy. We can splash for that, right? <laughs> Beginning of combat, target artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness 5-5. Five, five. Just start making all my foods into 5-5s. Five, I got a splash for it. Like, Minstrosity is probably what I should be taking right now for my deck. I take what I need. But how could I not? Yeah, make a food, do the thing. But Tazeret, and there's so like free artifacts, or do I do the food thing? I got Tazeret. I think we're gonna do the food thing. Now we need to keep an eye out a little bit more for the uh, mana fixing. We want to be able to splash blue in here, so Chromatic Star is going to be really good because the mana of any color. I mean, he obviously doesn't go in any deck if he made it all the way around to me. Man, Scream Puff is such a good payoff. But I think I need the cheap creature. Why does my deck have to be in the same packs? I mean, I could almost splash for this if I'm splashing for Tezzeret. Card. He call in any deck. Yep, we want the punch spell. We'll take the land here. Prowler. Whenever it or another artifact is put in the graveyard, return to your hand target artifact card with a lesser mana value. Well, that's not us. That is also not us. Freebooter might be nice. Oh, this thing's going to be insane for us, actually. That's a really good two drop with all of the random tokens we're generating. Total mana value of non-creature artifacts. I see why we've passed on that. Mana of any color. Over annihilating glare, huh? Yeah, we want mana of any color. Oh, nothing's going to be insane for me. That would be two. I think this is better, though. Yeah. 
landfall create a food or a treasure? And get another bobble. Can also go for a monstrosity here. Mint will come back around, the bobble won't. For a fact, we'll be scanned, we'll put our hand in the shuffle. No. Candy trail. No, we want spider food, it destroys artifacts. Candy trail would be nice, but we want spider food. Oh, dude, and a deadly dispute? What is this? Kind of brute suit just because we can? Greta, hell yeah. Dives investigate, and I think we go with the freebooter for the treasure since we're splashing now. Annihilating glare. Oh, the witch. Yeah, the witch. So we're green, black food, splash Tezzeret. Definitely have cuts to make. But so, as far as Tezzeret, we've got Chromatic Star, we've got Alloy Mer, got the Weirding Wood, Tireless Provisioner. Greedy Freet Booter. Dudley Dispute. Those are all the ways that we can make mana for Tezzeret here, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Potentially a seventh blue source. Honestly, I think I can splash him without having any islands in the mana base. I think I can get away with eight and eight here and still play Tezzeret. Am I crazy? Man, how does that leave the rest of the deck then? Like, Nettle Cyst is a must. For sure. Four, three, crew, one. We might be able to get away with not playing that. I 
that's just removable. That's great. I'm going to take out the welds for now. Confrontations. Elsa stays. Hunter stays. Greta stays. Sacrifice of food. It gets plus two. Activate only once a turn. Yeah, you're going to stay. You can go for now. You can go for now. Let's put this back over this way. Wow, it's the enforcers, huh? And every card basically makes a food token or a clue or a treasure or is an artifact for Tezzeret to mess with. Man, this sounds bad. Because the creature count is so low. I think I'm actually going to cut the bobbles. And I'm going to put the enforcers back in. Having the blood fountains make blood tokens for... And then something to sacrifice to Annihilating Glare... I think the bobbles are just gonna be draw cards for me. Zero mana draw cards, and I don't I don't necessarily need that. Although Deadly Dispute is kind of the only other way I draw cards, huh? I don't know. It looks good, though. I kind of like it. I guess I draw off the star. What do you mean, win con? Question mark. Tezzeret's the win con. He's going to turn all of my food into 5-5 five, five creatures, and I'm just going to be... You've been wrangling the dog. Like, yeah, just Tezzeret. Tezzeret's the win con. Or nettle cysts, the card we packed one, picked one. Like those, those are our two win cons, and everything else just enables having enough food to make both of those viable wins. And then we'll get in here, and I'll find out I drafted this artifact set completely wrong. I feel like I did good. Pack one, pick one, Nettle Cyst was 100% right. Whoever passed me Tezzeret, like, through the two or three people that passed it, like, oh, I'm not in those colors. Like, I don't care. I'm in one of two of those colors. I will splash for that other one. Hi, buddy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little sad I didn't get any artifact lands, though. Oh. We're gonna be in trouble. We can play Tezzer at next turn if we want. Um, can 
also go like provisioner land make a treasure Greta make a food That's the first thing we're killing with Tezzeret. Uh, yeah, we'll make a treasure. Play a Tezzeret. We'll kill the flyer. Oh no, they killed Tezzeret. I was greedy. Okay, well. Not a whole lot I can do about that. I knew I played him a little soon. This means nothing. Great. All right, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. No, you leave Greta alone. Damn, that's good. Draw three cards. If that player doesn't, you mill three cards and it deals damage to that player equal to the total mana value. Target player may have you draw three cards. No, I would rather take damage. Yes. Graveyard into my hand. Uh huh, now you see what they do together. Here's his first strike. So it sucks. Oh no. Boros equipment, huh? Annihilating Glare would be choice right now. Absolutely choice.
flying bit is still gonna get us, though. This is close. I mean, and they got good equipment cards too. No! My Enforcer! It's alright. Now I can put two creature cards from my graveyard back in my hand. But the Flyer. Gonna kill us. Damn, the borrow stuff's good. Just swing with your flyer. There's no hidden information on my side, just you. the cost of the enforcer. Oh, I just died. I needed to eat a food. Yeah, I needed to eat a food. I just died. That was my bad. Boros equipment is always good. Said the Boros player. I take one of those out and put one of these in. <laughs> Man, I'm not calling you out. I'm not saying Boros is bad. All right, Tezzeret, bro. I love you, and you're a friend, but. The deck isn't about you. <laughs> it's not like that. as I get the card that enables me to play him on turn four. <laughs> oh 
Tazaret. So yeah, it turns out having eight sources for your splash card means you can basically always play your splash card, even without the basic land to do so. I can deal with that, that's fine. Trade him slow. Protect the Tezzeret. He doesn't need to be in the opening hand, okay? I probably would be making about the same place. That is also another win condition. We can start turning our foods into shocks. Uh, excuse me? Where, where is that revealed at? That's the top card of your library. All right, modular motherfucker. One, 
two, three, four, five. That is not enough. That was a big oops. Right there. Huh, that kind of sucks. Especially if we're going to draw like that. Come on. Alright, well, Tezzeret dies. Two creatures worth getting back. Man, what a mistake. I forgot about modular. I thought he wanted to modular that. Yep, there's a big boy. I mean, that is not what we want to see here. We didn't see a Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, so... <laughs> Sucks. I mean, I still had fun. That's fine. I, I would like to see my Nettle Cyst at some point. Man, and I'm just gonna hard out 0-3 with this deck, huh? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do with me. It's like you're you're losing hard, but we don't want to like kick you out.
Come on, Arena. It's a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, this is a little more reasonable. Okay, about two drop into three drop with triggers. We've got a little bit of removal. Pick a Mio, huh? Nice, Bobble. Am I drawing a good card? I bet it's a land. No, it's not. Ornithopter. That's a pretty good mana ramp. Three, three. Yes, not all cyst. I feel like I want to kill their mana, though. Spider food that. Okay. good for us. Looking for a land. Preferably a black land. A small of sorts. We draw swamp and can go booter, annihilating glare, get the treasure into one of these two. It'll be a huge turn. Huge, I say. You are the mana that I need. 
I just... That feels so bad, taking the whole turn off to cast you. I don't know how we do this, it feels bad. Do you want to trade for my witch? That was a fair trade. I didn't think you'd actually take it. Man, what's with all my decks tonight? Just like, slightly mana screwed. No, Greta. How will I ever get her back? He's not even the big one. Oh, I got me in to play my deck now. Put a stun counter on it. Ooh. Rebooter, Glare, Sacrifice the Freebooter. Yeah, that's fine. Made a food. Swing for eight. All right. Tezzeret comes down next turn. Honestly, thinking about it, I probably should have scribed that to the bottom. I didn't need it. Yeah, get in for that damage while you can. So if we cast Tezzeret, we won't be able to play anything else. I mean, we're doing what we want to do, though. See what opponent can do about it. Hey, a five six, that's pretty good. That is pretty good.
Man, you could double block and kill one. Alright. Cool. You think you can go unblockable and hit me for 13 damage? champ just takes it all hey it wasn't a total loss we got a win <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a good curve. <laughs> it's not full send, but fool send. All right, my guy, click the button. There's a button on the bottom of your screen that says mulligan or keep. You gotta pick one. Oh, the Uzalith. Damn, I can't really attack in with my little, my little guy there. Trading my 3 1 for your 1 1. Yeah, one win so far. You're right. I'm on the edge, though. <laughs> Fuck yeah. A removal to kill my 1-1 one, one free booter that's as aptly named themselves fool set no Greta whatever will I do You want to trade now? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, you can make it into a 4-3, huh? You don't want to do it. Don't do it. to the Uzalef. I see it. I see it. The thing is, is I'm not scared. You are. doing what are we doing well that was a little unfortunate Past the turn for the moment. There's not really a good swing there. starting to be annoying.
Why? We're not scared until we see the word trample on their side of the board. But once we see trample, then we'll be a little scared. But for now, we're just both playing the top deck game. And we know all other creatures can modify. Gain control target creature until the turn, and tap that creature against haste. Okay. Not even scared. If you attack wrong this turn, you lose. Do it full send. Just click the Leroy button. Oh. Click all. Just send it, my guy. Send it. You know you want to. Mega treasure. Artifact or creature card from a graveyard to the hand. So we can get the booter back. Or we can go for the next card. Let's go for the next card. to make an attack here. I think we move this to the hunter. And a nine nine to their ten. No, no, don't do that. Well, next. We attack here. I'll have a 10 10. Next. Let's see if we can get him here. Block. Do it. Block. Ooh, they only want to do the one. They know. 
How do they know? Yeah, I'm gaining the life. Yep. Uh huh. Move the counter to the Ozolith. That's fine. It's tough. This is tough. But yeah, I was hoping they would double block and then we could pie, hit the 6-7 and make an 11-11 and they would have to eat a food and then they'd have no creatures. But they saw it. It's alright, we're grinding them out. This is this is a control -y kind of deck. We're controlling the situation. And we still have... Interesting. I think you might regret doing that. You're definitely going to regret doing that. Um, let's see here. It's... You 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 Ooh No That's wrong because if I try to bake into a pie and kill anything, the Ozolith is going to get all of those counters. Maybe that was right. Damn it. No, nah, that's 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 fine. Have exact lethal. Woo! Yeah, that was a little rough. If I would have done what I was thinking of doing and I would have killed the thing and let the Ozolith live, I don't think it would have mattered too much in the end, but. I don't know. That was that was all wild, especially with the clock coming up. We got there though. We got there. <laughs> all right, and I got about twenty minutes to play one more game or so, and then unfortunately I gotta go. So this is probably our last game, win or lose, whether the draft continues or not. Air, 
emergency weld. Really? Sure. Counter my my mint. Play a brute suit. Come on, we're hoping for a land. kind of a problem. It's annoying more than anything, but it is kind of a problem. Got rid of my Tezzeret mana there, but I get a draw card. We just hope it's not Tezzeret. Alright, Blue, what do you have? crew, huh? That's great for us. What else are we doing? White player overthinking everything. Yes, make a one one. What a good play.
And somehow I doubt it, but you never know. It could be. Just playing on another account. I'm going to try to throw food at my opponent to kill them. <laughs> My turn. I'll make a food. And a food. Artifact enchantment on creature with flying. Now I think Food Fight is red and unfortunately didn't make it into the deck. But yeah, I'm just going to throw a bunch of food at him. Yes, just about everything makes food, opponent. Another brute suit, okay. You're not even using the first one. Ow. Oh no. Can we win this turn? I think I can win this turn. Poor opponent. Poor opponent. 
Here, have some mint berry crunch. Food is good for you. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, what is that? We're three, two. And unfortunately, I don't have enough time to keep playing, so I have to call the stream here. Hopefully, we will see you guys around. I think that's my fifth one. I'll stop getting in Keeper's Talent now, finally. Nice. That was, that was actually somewhat fun there towards the end. Popper was a rough start, but food food's getting there. I will uh, catch you guys tomorrow. And I think tomorrow we're going to start streaming a little bit earlier. I've got things going on in the evening now, so we might bump it in to like a, a 10 a.m. or a noon stream and do that instead of the 2 to 6 like I have been doing. Um, I haven't fully decided yet, but streams will definitely be a little bit earlier from now on. And uh, yeah. We'll catch you guys tomorrow for Bellatro. Or maybe we'll finish this out and then do Bellatro. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs>